Hello guys! And in this video I'm gonna show you how to create high realistic flat lock stitch which will fit perfect for your active wear designs such as leggings, sports top and others. I already added my avatar and uh, this leggings design and the first thing I'm going to do is just to check that everything is okay. Um, a little bit rising my leggings and checking that it's all good. And okay, I see that uh, leg details are incorrectly added, so I flip them normal. Just, just to show you how I did it. I will add my flat lock stitch on these areas, but also I want to add it to leg openings. And to do this, I'm going to add uh, internal line to cut and sew this detail. And I will also add a little bit thickness to this small detail. To start creating realistic flat lock stitch, I will add internal line to the leg hole on both details. Leg detail and panty detail with 0.3 cm distance. It also helps me to determine the full length. In my case it's 72 cm. So I create polygon rectangle with this length and 0.6 cm width, because our internal lines was 0.3 cm each. We will need to apply another fabric with new properties for these details, so I added the new fabric. And began to stitch this detail to the leg hole internal lines has been just made, controlling in the 3D window that the stitch is in the right position. Looks good so far, so I superimpose over my detail. Great, looks just as I want it to. So now I just create symmetric pattern to add the second detail to another leg hole. And the same procedure with the waistband part. I copied the detail has been made with new measurements according to the waistband measurements and superimpose over once again. Do the same with leg openings, two internal lines and detail superimpose over. All small details should be with new fabric, but also reduce particle distance to 2 or 4. Using an option distribute internal lines between segments, I added internal line to every small detail we made and to apply it top stitch on it. But this is not the top stitch I'm gonna use, so I go to library, open the folder and choose flat lock stitch. I like this one the most. Now it's time to play with the properties. First of all, I changed width to 0.5, but also put 0 to offset. So I place my flat lock stitch right in the middle, decreasing the opacity of fabric to zero, so we can see only the stitch, and changed color. The small details we created is more artificial roll, so it's better not to make them very visual. That's why I'm deleting all the normal maps from stitches of these small details. The next step is to make my stitch more visually real, so I go to the stitch properties and turn on normal map. But it's better to add displacement map as well, so I open the folder with texture, copy this texture and go to the website, which helps to create different maps from the texture you have, without Photoshop or Illustrator. I upload my texture and I have my displacement map for the stitch. 0.3 should be enough, but you can play with this as well. I think I'm done with additions and it's time to check render window how everything looks like. I think it looks good, little small things to add, but overall I think it looks great. 
and let me know what do you think if you like uh, my idea or maybe you have another options how to create very realistic uh, flat lock or another stitches it will be great to hear from you guys meanwhile i hope you enjoyed my tutorial and let me know in comments how everything is going with this take care bye bye